All right, guys. So, I told you I had a surprise in the middle of the week. And it came a little bit early. This is the Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade 1-Up Machine. Uh, a little backstory. Um, I told you guys all the time that my reward for a good week in school was going to the arcades and playing all my favorite games. And this was the machine that started it all for me. Yeah, I played a lot on on the MK1 machine, but the MK, the MK2 machine was just so much more iconic with the voice of Steve Ritchie echoing his um, Shao Kahn throughout the entire arcade. Um, and my dad used to stand me up to this this machine so I could play it. Right away, I can tell you that I love the look of the machine. Everything from the red T molding to the side art of Raiden on, e on either side. Um, a couple little nitpicks about the machine. Uh, number one is there is no lit marquee. I know there are new models out there being sold by Costco that um, that have a lit marquee in it. Um, but uh, I got this one from Walmart.com for about two eighty, and uh, the other thing is I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't see it from my angle, the camera that I'm looking at. Um, but there's a little chip in the control deck. Probably happened in tr in transport or in the act of putting it together. I'm not really sure. Um, doesn't really bother me much. Um, it comes with three games on it, as you can see, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Um, issues that I had with the cabinet were the fact that even at its four foot, um, base, it was still too small. Um, so I had to take one of the boxes that one of the panels came in, I believe, and use it as a sort of pseudo riser because I don't need eight feet. I just need something in between that will enable me to adequately play on the machine. Um, so there's that, uh... This machine, sorry, has three volume settings. The first being off, which is what I'm using now. And the second, hold on. The second be, being medium, which on Mortal Kombat 1, the... Um, the volume doesn't re really matter all that much, but on MK3, which is what I'm going to put on now, so you guys can hear that, sorry for my finger being in the way, uh, just blocking a couple things while I move around here, um, and going to be careful navigating. You're going to see the attract mode for MK3. And that's at the medium volume. And that's pretty loud. Um, I have to go in here and change some of the, uh, the volume settings. And we're going to be good to go there. I'm going to turn down the volume, excuse my finger again, had to uh, turn the volume off, anyway, uh, there are a couple modifications that I want to make 
to this cabinet going forward. Um, one of them is obviously changing out the painted marquee for uh, a lid marquee. And I've seen people on YouTube do that. And the other thing I'm going to do is one of these days I'm going to buy a hex uh, octagonal octagonal gate f for the joystick because right now it's using a square gate which means naturally you can only move the, the joystick four ways um, and it makes it much more cumbersome to execute special moves. Um, so, with the octagonal gate, you can obviously move the joystick in a, tr in a true A-way fashion. Um, but, for right now, this will do. I, as a kid, I always wanted to own one of these machines, and, what, 30 years later? You know... 29 years later, actually, because I started playing MK when I was five years old. Um, 29 years later, here I am owning a replica Mortal Kombat 2 machine. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you right now. Um, I'll update this video as I, you know, make, make changes to the cabinet or anything like that, or I get someone to film me as I'm doing actual gameplay, but, uh, yeah, this is my pride and joy, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the surprise, because I enjoyed giving it to you. Please like, drop a subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.